What is up, y'all? Welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. We just finished going through HR in the Hive uh, and helping Kate out, but also got a photo that we need to go get more information about. Um, Sintra told us to come up here, so we are now on the eighth floor. You alright over here? Is this you? Hello. Who could notice things like these? That the goblins like to smoke as much as he likes cheese. Uh, oh yeah, can't remember if there's like a graveyard or something. There's someone by a campfire, I remember that. No, no, it wasn't for playing with fire or staring at sc screens. You'll find that the goblin saw the witch so many times that he went blind. What? Ooh, piece of paper. This looks like a cemetery. There's a big rusty lock on this gate. I don't think I can get through without the key. Don't shake it. I think I know where the witch is. Well, I mean, you shook the dang thing. Oh, here's the family. Yep. Alright, we gotta find a way. Wait, where did this fog come from? Smells like burning. Maybe it's smoke? Uh... It's gotta be... I forget where. Oh, I can't go there. It's gotta be up that way. Broken swing set. There's this rock. I think if I duck into the bushes, nobody will be able to see me. Okay, so those things hurt you. I don't know if that guy is a good guy or- oh. No, that hurt. Run! Okay. There's too many of them. Yeah, there's a lot. Ugh! Oh, there you go. We got a lot of paper. Oh, nope. It's bad. It's bad. Ooh, there you go. Run! Oh, box. I'll take that. Oh, I'm kind of stuck down here, huh? Ooh! Whoa! Alright, book it! Ooh, that was close. You see that? I don't think I can go this way, can Oh, nope! Definitely can't. Let's use this. Because I am super low on health. I think we're getting close. Or not. Oh. Alright, if I bring him. Oh, here we go. As long as they don't see me, because I think I gotta basically build the bridge to get to him, I thought. Maybe? Pretty sure that sounds right. There you go. 
That's the only crappy part. Come this way. Bring you all over there for now. So you can kind of outrun them. But that's if you're lucky and there's not tons of them. I actually need to go back and talk to that one guy that was like with the one right next to him. No, no, no. No one knows the past of the madman. The goblin was controlling obsessive. Bleh. The goblin was controlling obsessive and ambitious. Here's the fire. I remember this part. Okay, we should be able to use this. Alter fixed? Yeah, sure, why not? Like everyone came to the altar. Hmm. I'm gonna buy a candy bar because I need it. Did I already save? I'm just gonna go ahead, since I got more paper, I'm just gonna go ahead and save anyways. Oh, Hugo's gone. I'm fine, it didn't hurt at all. And you? Uh, Hugo. What are you afraid- hey, are you afraid of Hugo? Sorry, I didn't mean to be so blunt. Did he send you to ask me? Is he hiding, listening to us? What? No, come on. I don't think he'd- does he usually do that kind of thing? Much worse, Pasternak. Everybody's afraid of Hugo. He's been with the company for a long time and he's been rising from the lowest floors. He has contacts on each floor and moves freely through the company. Haven't you seen the Toad jumping around yet? I've seen that. What's with that costume? Super Toad is his alter ego. He's supposed to be some kind of company hero, but it's just an excuse to do what he likes without giving explanations. He's very smart, Pasternak. He always co covers his back, in public. He's just funny, slightly naughty fellow who's playing pranks on rookies. But when he disguises himself, he's totally uncontrollable and goes completely unpunished behind that mask. He can do anything. And believe me, he won't hesitate to pass over or go through whoever's between him and what he wants. But why is that? What does he want? I think he wants to be the next boss of the company. Please, if he finds out I've spoken to you, take it easy. I don't trust him a bit. I won't tell him anything. What was that Hugo was saying about you guys having a secret club? You want to come in? Registration is open. No, I mean, I don't know. Tell me about it first. Of course. It's called Video Club. Mysterio. Dun dun dun! Do you like the name? Sounds interesting, of course. It's a cinema movie club where we watch horror movies, B-series, author films. And we also make our own short horror films. I'm sure you must have seen one of our tapes lying around. We've hidden copies all over the building so that when someone finds them, they'll say, Oh, what a mystery. Oh, wow, how creative. And you made the short films? I'm the actress in some of them, and I always help wherever I can. But the real artist is Mappy, who's our, oh, who's our director. Mappy? She's a very introverted girl, but she can take all the strange things around us and turn it into art. Um, yeah, sure. Nice. Oh. Here he goes. Go to the third floor. Oh, 
Hey, there he is. Hello, Doshi. Came to see what you're doing around here. You're taking a stroll around the company. Well, welcome to Electronic Garbage Paradise. Here I fix a little bit of everything. Computers, printers, telephones. I also like to collect components. Nice. You work alone? No one helps you? Yeah, well, there used to be more, but between this and that, work-related accidents were the day, you know what I mean? Bum, bum, bum. I've had orders accumulated over years. Nice. First of all, get all that old witch stuff out of your head. Okay. Look, this is very simple. This company has a machine, and the parts that make it work are the employees and all that. You follow me? For example, imagine that the company has a printer you have at home. One day, it prints out two sheets of paper together. Another day, is misprints. it misprints some data. Next day, it swallows paper, mixes the files. You get the gist. But dude, what if there's no owner? Only printer. Okay. Hmm. Oh, he has supplies? Let's go. Oh, he sells batteries. I sell these alkaline batteries of the highest quality for 100 beans each. 100's a lot. Oh, cool. What is that? Our technology fused together in form of plastic tubes that eliminate hours and hours. You can carry them in your hand or leave them on the floor. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. I'll give you three so you can try them. Nice! Let's see, go for walks, search for cabinets. Let's just say I deal with other things besides what you see here. I'm freaking out over a little jewelry I want to fix, and well, I'm looking for pieces all over the building. If you get me one of those pieces, I could give you a good reward. I do have one. There we go. As a reward, let me see that flashlight of yours. Make a few changes. Right, good to go. A modified flashlight. Now you'll have a bigger, much cooler beam of light. Nice. If you find more of those pieces, you know who to give them to. Um, I'm good for now. See if there's anything I can pick up since I'm hanging out. Oh, see, there we go. Nice. What does this do? Don't go near that door. Why? What's in that door? Oh, I should have went the other way. There is a fire, burn witch paper. <laughs> Who's there? I'm the one who likes to smoke as much as he likes. Cheese? I am the one who was blinded. Uh, for seeing this witch too many times. I am the one who is invisible because... Oh crap, I don't remember. Is that right? Oh, dude, I wasted a piece of paper. Okay. Cheese. Witch too many times. I'm the one who is invisible because use magic from consumer driven society. Now I'm a madman, but I was Oh, uh What was this one? It's one of these two. Ambitious. Yeah. A creature with two bellies? Hello. 
Ah, Pastor Renak. <laughs> Who are you then? Do you live here? And that hair, you're invisible? And your eyes? You don't have eyes. You're gonna kill me. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Karma, Mr. Pastis. You ask me a lot of questions like that. You look goofy. You have to take your life with a soup spoonful of sugar. In these dark times, a human being is a slave to time. Everything is important. That's urgent. Run, run. I catch you. Enjoy the moment, old friend, like me. Here under a tree with my cigar and a nice piece of cheese. <laughs> nice, a <be> <laughs> nice piece of cheese to while away the afternoon. The paradise of the yum yum. If you say so, then say so. Who are you? Uh, I like to think I am an employee of the mega corporation called Centroport. I'm not really sure. I lost my memory a few months ago when I went completely mad. I don't remember my mother or my name either, but your fellow government officials call me the Forest Goblin. Although I'm not a forest and this place isn't a real goblin. <laughs> Dude, it's so ridiculous. And what do you mean, or, and what are you doing here? I mean, what do you do? I do magic with products. Magic? Yeah, with barcodes. Huh? When I removed myself from the office, I took refuge in this lonely garden and began to perceive the magic that surrounds the manufactured objects of the consumer-led society. As the old attrition proverb says, only when you walk away from the lights of the big city can you see the stars at night, equally and of different sizes. All the secrets of the products were revealed to me. And they're barcodes. That's hilarious. Alright. You don't have any barcodes or some package? Oh, yeah we do. Empty cereal box. It's crazy that the cereal box was one of the first things we grabbed and we're now using it. Let me lick this barcode a little bit. I see, this code corresponds to the magic of poisonous gas. That contract you see lying on the stone will allow you to breathe in toxic environments full of farts. I can make you a copy if you give me two witch papers as hostages. Ah, death has come. I almost forgot to tell you, I also sell blank witch papers. Nice. I suppose you know them, don't you? I sell them 10,000. What? Even though I got them reduced by 50%, so they'd be one slice of cheese each. <laughs> Do you know anything about the cemetery? It's where the witch lives. Is that true? No. <laughs> no. Please, this is important. I pushed the gate and I heard a scream and I think I saw something or someone. Would she be the witch? I don't know. Well, make up your mind. Asked about the witch. Is it true what they say that you saw the witch? I don't want to talk about it. Sorry. Eight times. It always happened the same way. First, anxiety. You want to run away and you don't know why. Second, the lights go out and you feel the air are thick around you. The weight on your shoulders. Third, the hiss that sticks like a pin in the ear. And a kiss. Like someone's kissing your cheek. At first, I tried to hide or run like the others, then I stopped. She didn't really want to kill me. She was torturing me. She always made the comrades around me disappear. She left me alive. Every time I saw her, it drove me, it drove me crazier and crazier. I, gouge, I gouged my eyes out the last time she visited me and I came to live here. I haven't seen her since. And you never knew who she was? No, if I knew, I wouldn't forget. I always thought, thought that. I don't know, it could be anyone. Okay, so how long does this one last though? You have signed the protection contract against poison gas. So does that mean... Oh, so yeah, we're good. How many pieces do I have? Three. I don't think I need the cheese for anything else. Uh, cause how many pieces of cheese do I get? Three? I'll do this, I'll buy one. 
and we'll go back.